All right, friends, we are continuing our series of key training through a 50% off. If you don't know, they are in Inverness, Lakanto, Homosassa, and Wildwood, Florida. And the last weekend of every month is 50% off. So if you're near them, I would definitely check them out. So we did very well at the first one, and now we're gonna go into Lakanto and see what we can find here. And I will remind you, last time I was trying to buy all their Harley shirts, and they said no, but they said I could ask this month. So I am going to try if they are still here. All right, so this one, as well as the Inverness one, I haven't been to a ton, but I've been making it routine to go every month. Now, when you walk in, they have this really cool patriotic display, 4th of July stuff here. Those were melamine plates. Some melamine plates you might think are not worth much, but be sure to check the melamine plates because some brands can do well. I was trying to see if I saw any 4th of July clothes for Dalton since it is coming up. They have lots of gator stuff here on this. Now, this is a boutique rack and the clothing is not 50% off. And I don't, most of these gator shirts are probably about a $15 sale. So even though it was hard, I did decide to pass on those. And it looks like here they pull those sport shirts. Uh, a couple of the other stores do not pull the sport shirts and put them into boutiques so I can find them on the dollar racks. Now here you can see I was showing Marsha that both sides of this were Harley before but it looked like most of the Harley was gone. I am still going to ask and see if on the few items left, if I can get 50% off if I get them all. This section, they tend to have a little bit higher dollar collectibles than the shelves that we will go to a little bit later in the back. This is a little Betty Boop trinket box. And again, everything is 50% off that's not closed. So that would have been 10, but I feel like that was probably only worth about $25. No. I see this Gators puzzle and Dalton, I like doing puzzles. It's 500 piece and they have it priced at $13, which for a used puzzle for me, I, I think you can get them close to that new and I'm always so scared to buy puzzles that are used. The last one I bought at a yard sale for me and Dalton was missing one piece and of course we find it out after we have put the whole thing together. So yeah. Now here's an iron. I just did a research video on them. This is an Auric and this one unfortunately was not worth very much. We found some Pyrex Butterfly Gold Nesting Bowls. Now these are priced at $75. They are in excellent condition. I believe they're worth about $150. So with the discount, they're only going to be $37.50. So I am going to grab those because that's still close to $100 profit. And these are really awesome kind of recycled bubble glass. They are hand blown. I don't know a maker. They they only would have been 10 for the four, but I wasn't really sure if that was a good pickup or not. And then look at these really cool Italy cobalt blue little coffee mugs. Those I think are definitely worth picking up and I will sell them together as a set. And I've got to start remembering to look at the furniture. My husband wants to start refinishing some furniture. So I'm trying to look for smaller solid wood pieces. I ran into the chair. Did you see the hard stop? That would be me hitting the chair. Now I did speak to the manager and she did tell me that I could have 50% off of the Harley that was left. So I am going to see what's left. I didn't come over here and check it before asking her 
and I'm getting here and I'm seeing there's not really much here so I was grabbing these and I'm like like that one was Faded Glory which is a Walmart and then there are some off brands I'm like where where are the Harley that's what that's what's running through my head now here this one's a Harley Davidson but it was a screen print on a Gildan and none of these are actual Harley brand now this one is so we definitely will grab that one and I just, I'm like no put it on the handle of the cart so that one's a hard rack vest that one might have been okay to pick up with her giving me the 50% off and I will tell you when I got up to check out they said wait she said you have to get them all and we called her up again and I told her you know I just can't pay that much without them being actual Harley shirts and she was super nice she knows I do spend a lot of money with the store and so she did still give me the 50% off I was willing to put them back I was not going to argue because I really thought there were more to buy and it looked like most of the actual Harley brands were taken here's another women's Harley shirt that was still there and I did put those Sturgis back I'm like I just the the value on screen printed shirts is not what it is when you have actual Harley branded items and I'm I'm really glad that she did decide to give me the discount even though I didn't take everything that was motorcycle I did find this pair of Harley Davidson jeans and here are some chaps and these again are not Harley branded and the chaps might have still been an okay pickup I just really wasn't sure and this is one of the stores I don't get any signal in and so I think I'm gonna pass unless they're Harley branded the Joe rocket is an okay print you see my hand I'm like where are the Harleys I'm like so I was so sad which is great for the thrift store that means they've sold a ton because both sides of this rack were all all Harley all Harley branded last time I was there here's another this one's a little Harley branded women's sweatshirt so we'll grab that one and the last one is not either so we we got a few we did not get a ton but that's okay now these are really really cute little hazel atlas mini teacups so they would only be 1250 with the discount and i think they're worth about 25 to 30 dollars so for me i would really want to be more at like the five dollar point and they're breakable and it's a lot of pieces so it'd be quite a bit of packing so I'm gonna leave them all right so this is the other section of the collectibles I was telling you guys about and we're gonna look here and see if we can find anything good hidden in these shelves I love how these stores have so many collectibles because a lot of stores in our area don't this is a cute little Japan I think that is an oil lamp I believe the wick goes in the top and I saw those advent taper candles down there on the bottom sometimes if they're branded those are something that you can pick up And if I miss something, definitely tell me because I love to learn. Look at this glass little powder box. That one was a newer one, so I did decide to leave it. Those pagoda things are still here that are up top there. I don't know what they are, but they're still cool. But I'm still going to leave them there because it's, it's hard when you can't find comps you got to be really careful because sometimes you end up getting stuff that is really really hard to sell I love this glass vase it is really pretty it's not marked I'm double checking because it really felt like it was a good quality vase 
but with it being clear, probably a little bit harder sell. There's a blue glass bowl, but I did not see a marking on that one either. This is so pretty. It's kind of cool how the outside was silver and then you had almost like a carnival glass look inside. I have been neglecting the luggage. Maybe I, I should start paying attention to the luggage, I feel like. Or not. It takes up a lot of space. Maybe I should just keep skipping over that. This little trinket box was really cute. But I think that one was a newer one. I will pick up newer stuff, but I definitely prefer the vintage and the antique pieces. However, there are some newer pieces that can be valuable and I do pick those up on occasion. Let me know down in the comments, are you somebody who prefers the vintage and antique like I do or do you like more modern collectibles? Let's see. Sometimes it's hard when there's so much stuff. It's a good thing when there's so much stuff to look through, but it also can be overwhelming because you do miss things. So I do recommend if you have time to look through sections like this two, maybe even three times. Now for me, because I go to so many stores, I tend to just look once. If you don't know, most of these stores are over an hour from home for me. So I try to go to at least three in a day. And if I doubled and tripled over sections, I would probably only make it to one or two. And always check the tops and bottoms. That's another tip. A lot of... A lot of good stuff gets put on the top and bottom and gets missed. Look at this cute little wall sconce. See, this is something new that if there were two, I would have picked up. Because that was really, really cute. But there was only a single one there, so I did leave it. Look at the chip. This is a really pretty vase. But it had a chip on the edge. <laughs> I'm trying to find valuable clear glass. I am so trying because there's always so much of it. Look at this cute little ring holder. I love this. It's almost like a Tanala type. And it's only $2 with the discount. So I think I'm going to get that one. I definitely like it. See, look. We don't have much in our buggy. Not yet. We will, we will work on that. Look at all of the clear glass. It's like your eyes glaze over. And you just don't know. This one caught my eye. It is marked, but I wasn't familiar with the mark. So I did decide to put that one back. And I know to look for quality. I know to look for things that look like crystal. But if you guys have any more tips for me or anyone else, please let me know. This is a Waterford goblet, but look at that chip, my friends. And it was the only one there, so I bet somebody got the rest of them that were probably undamaged that would have been worth picking up and left the one damaged one. So it was there by itself. And just because they're singles doesn't mean they won't sell. A lot of people will pick those up for replacements because a lot of times just one glass gets broken. So I do pick up singles, but... I'm not going to pick up a single with a big chip on the rim because if somebody is looking for a replacement, they probably want a replacement that is intact, not one that is chipped. So this one, look, someone etched Harley Owners Group into that one. And that's something that was like a custom made piece. If there had been a set of those, that is something I would have picked up, but there was only the one. These look kind of fancy, but I don't see any markings. These really caught my eye, and if you know what these are, let me know. I did not get them, and I don't know if that was a mistake or not. 
they were like little maybe berry bowls or fruit bowls and I think those could have been okay look if that wasn't enough clear glass here's some more that one caught my eye with the lines this one's pretty cool and I actually did look up this VIP Mac one and it's worth about $15, so I decided to behave and leave it. I'm not, I'm not addicted to MAC lowball glasses. I am addicted to Tervis. Sailboat one was really nice. All right, do you see kind of the rainbow there? Look at this. This is a Mikasa Park Avenue double old-fashioned and a single replacement on replacements.com sells for $80. So now I'm like, are there more of them? I just found an $80 glass for 80 cents. Can there be more? And I am hoping, but I am not seeing. I've sold some like this for a decent amount too. All right. <laughs> Beware, we're, we're in the Tervis section. I have looked at the I've looked at that cup for three months in a row and it's a Minecraft one and Dalton absolutely loves Minecraft but it's kind of worn unfortunately and I have a couple of these Tervis handles I need to get listed so we are definitely not not tempted by the Tervis handle let's see what we see I saw a breast cancer awareness Tervis up there and I am going to resist that one if you watched my last video, I failed at the Tervis test last time. We'll see if I fail again. I think these pictures are only like a dollar or two at Walmart. I was looking at it because my daughter has been making and drinking a lot of sweet tea. And I thought that would be a good sweet tea pitcher. Look at how cute this one is. That would be cute for like summer parties. Look, I passed the Tervis test. I did not pick up any Tervis this time. Lots and lots of toys, but I am not very great at toys. There's Elena and her laundry basket, and it is full. So I am doing better than Elena. Look at her overflowing basket. I don't have very much in my basket. Not yet. <laughs> Let's see if we see any linens. This one's cute with the alphabet, but that was just like a small cross print print. So that one I did decide to leave. There's a pillow up here that looks kind of interesting. But there was only one, so I decided to leave that one. Elena's daughter makes crochet animals, so she's trying to find her some yarn for the crochet animals. So their towels are priced a little high here, but they are 50% off. This one was marked at $6, so it would be 3 with the discount, and there's quite a bit of towels up here. I love the print on this one. This one is the Royal Company. This is a really, really nice hand towel. Look at what Elena found. Elena found me dolphins. A really, really nice dolphin tapestry. And I'm showing her my towel. It's show and tell at the thrift store. So Elena said she wasn't going to get that dolphin tapestry. And she didn't see any pulls or anything on it. So I told her to go ahead and just put it in my buggy. This is a cycling shirt. This one's five, but the cycling shirts typically sell for 25 to 50. So Elena has <laughs> dropped the, the dolphins are now in my cart. Let's see what else we see here. This is another really, really nice towel. The unfortunate thing with most towels at the thrift store is they're only singles. So this one is Wellesley Manor, and I love the pattern on this. But it's a single, so I think I'm going to put it back. 
Now, I found three of these. This one is Classic Traditions. But look, these are so, so 80s. And I love the print on this one. And they're actually three. So I'll be able to list them together as a set. And I think these are worth picking up. So we're going to put those down in the buggy since we have three of them. Now, if that had been a single one, I probably would not have picked that one up. There are so many towels up top, I'm having to reach high to get to them. This is another, if you need towels, listen to me. You can find really nice towels at the thrift store. This is a spa home. So I will tell you in my house, my, my Tervis obsession is kind of like my towel obsession. I have way too many bath towels because I see all these really nice towels at the thrift store. So I've started making myself now, if I bring home a nice towel, I have to get rid of another towel in order to keep the new one because I just have way too many. This print looks really, really vintage. Unfortunately, the tags cut off. I think this is probably 80s, early 90s, but I couldn't find it when I was searching. Now, Ellen is looking at that new wave oven and she's thinking about getting it for herself. What is this? This towel. Captain Planet. So this towel is, I believe, from the early 1980s. Let's see if we can find the date here. Uh, yep, 1980. And there's only one of these listed, and it's actually listed... I believe at 75 or $80. So this is an absolutely great find. And I'm excited about that one. And now here's another really big beach towel. Big beach towels that are nice can be expensive. Now that one though was a newer one. I do typically only pick up the vintage. Look at all. I love this towel. But I cannot have this towel. <laughs> now you now you know about my towel obsession. In addition to my Tervis obsession. I'm putting this really nice floral towel back back in the rack. Put it back in the rack, cat. There's Marsha. Marsha is here with us as well as Elena. Marsha's looking through. Look at this. So this is a really, really big this one is a nice big vintage beach towel and that one I'm going to get for sure I think this is a little hand towel oh maybe it's a little bath towel look at the little flip-flops all right we're we're putting that back look Marsha has a really big nice beach towel do you see this so this is a rugby stripe this one is actually a vintage Land's End towel. And I'm waiting to see if Marsha's going to take it. Because if Marsha doesn't take it, I'm going to take it. And I found these amazing Avanti Antigua cloth napkins. They're four fifty, so they'll only be two and a quarter for four. Look, Marsha, Marsha threw stuff in my basket. See, I don't even need to shop. Elena and Marsha just keep giving me things and putting them in my in my basket they're finding things for me here's another really really vintage probably late 70s early 80s towel but this is where when you only have the one is it worth it and I think that print was good so I did grab that one Marsha's looking at the pillow cover see look she put that in her cart <laughs> they they both are getting stuff too, but it's really funny. Um, I don't know if you're a reseller or if you just like watching, but different resellers like selling different things. And that's why it's okay to go shopping with your friends because you're all going to see different things. And if you see, we all have things in our buggy and we all found stuff. So some people wonder how 
I go shopping with other resellers and that's exactly how. We all have different tastes. We all like to resell different things. Some of it does overlap, but generally we're going to be drawn to different things and that is why it works. All right, we got to look at look at this vintage Vanity Fair nightgown. It's almost like a shell print. This one's a really nice navy blue. It has a rip, but I think it's still worth it. I think that would be an easy fix for somebody, and I think that that one should still sell. Marsha is down there talking about she might decide to sell kids' clothes. That is one thing that I do not do. Uh, just because there's such an abundance, I think because kids are always growing and changing sizes, the parents are always looking to resell their clothes and for me with Dalton's I would rather just donate them because typically kids clothes are lower priced. Now with that in mind I will pick up some different brands like I picked up a Patagonia baby snowsuit. So there are a few items that I will still pick up even though they're kids clothes. So I do kind of peruse that section and see if anything sticks out to me. And I peruse the section for Dalton and my grandson Atlas as well. If you sell kids clothes, by the way, let us know down in the comments how it works for you. And if there's any tips that you have for people that might want to get into that. I know that lotting up kids clothes is probably I would think a good way to get a higher sell price. But if you have some more tips let us know down in the comments. We gotta look at the bras. The bras. I don't see any good ones today though. Checking out the scrub tops, I have been being very selective with them with trying to hit a $25 sales average. Not many scrub tops will meet that, but if I find nice scrub tops the same brand, same size, I can lock them up. This caught my eye down here. Look at this. So this is a Laura Ashley daybed cover. It's 45, so with the discount will be 22 but I decided to leave that. Here's some Jordans. And those I left because they were actually a really, really small size, which wouldn't sell as fast. Let's see if we can find some purses and handbags. This leather one looked kind of nice. I don't see any brand or anything, though. I will pick up some nice purses unbranded, but I don't pick up very many because it's very hard to price comp them and know exactly what they're worth. And a lot of times they look nice, but they're not worth very much. I don't see any. Some beanies. Watch, check the beanies too. Some beanies can be good. Look at this. This is a Woolrich. So it's 45, so it's 2250 with the discount. And it's a comforter and some pillows. Really, really nice Woolrich set. And Woolrich is a good brand. So this one I think I'm going to pick up. I saw another Pyrex bowl, but that one had quite a few scuffs and marks on it and it's just a single yellow and it wasn't one of the ones missing from my set so that one I decided to pass on look at the little Disney with little salt and pepper shakers and Elena found another Native American girl doll that Marsha picked up one similar to that at the last thrift store so Elena was thinking maybe Marsha would want that one as well. So she was going to show that one to Marsha and see if maybe Marsha wanted it. 
So this Muffy Vanderbear was 25. Some Muffy Vanderbear can be valuable as well. Look at this beautiful, beautiful glass bowl. I got distracted by crystal wine glasses up top. I love this thing. It's got a nice polished bottom. I, I think I'm going to leave it though. All right. We are almost done, but we have to check out the artwork first. So we're going to check out the artwork with Elena. I really like this print, but look at that rip. So I think I got to leave it because it's got the rip in the canvas. These are really cool. So this is a frame geode slice that one however though i don't think would be valuable and shipping it with that glass is going to take quite a bit so i don't think i want to bother with that let's see if we see any more i found some pretty good pictures here in the past so i do always make sure i look through all of them <gasps> what is this Look at how amazing. These are antique bubble glass. These are fantastic. I love this thing. Look, there are two. I have to get these things. I think they're 15, so they'll only be 750. And look, there's room in the cart. We have to get those. Those are probably worth over $100 each. So that was a really, really great find on those. I like that bird. I think that's a current. Now, this one, Elena said she had seen this print somewhere. And it looks like the frame is pretty damaged. I didn't look that one up. Some prints do sell very well. That one's a big one, though, and shipping would definitely be quite a task. Look what Elena found. This is a horse and he's made of shells. He's 875, so he would be 437 ish. I'm waiting to see. See, a lot of times I wait to see if Elena and Marsha want it. And if they don't, then I get it. And I'm going to get that because that's really cool how it's made out of shells. And you can see my cart is full again. I'm going to look at some of these smaller frames. And I don't do good with digging thoroughly through the smaller frames. But I will kind of scan them to see if anything sticks out to me. Because there are a lot there. This is a really nice glass frame. But that one was a newer one. I was hoping it was a vintage or maybe a named piece. And most of these look like they're newer, like mass produced. So I'm looking for any fancy ones or any that catch my eye. All right. I think we're about done here. I'm going to head and check out and get everything paid for. And I will see you in just a second. It's still hot in Florida. Surprise, surprise. So we got some good stuff. There were actually only six Harley pieces left. I did get them for 50% off. She still honored it. I didn't want to take the screen print uh, Gildan ones at that price. I just didn't think they had the value, but she still did it. So really, really happy with the manager here. She knows I come and I spend hundreds of dollars every time. Lots of good vintage towels today some amazing antique photos those are probably the best find Woolrich comforter let's let's go take a look at it all again right now all right my friends Elena found me this amazing dolphin tapestry I think it was like 15 bucks so like 750 but it's absolutely beautiful I think I'll still do well with that this is a vintage Woolrich comforter set 45 so that one was 2250 and then she did give me the Harley half off. So I paid six for this one. And then the napkins were two and a quarter. Those were half off. There's another bike Toberfest. Again, she did do the half off. There were not many, as you see, of the Harleys left. Um, this one was $4.50. I got the bike shirt for five. Here's another women's Harley shirt. That was 
five. Uh, Harley hoodie for six. Harley jeans were ten. I got this super cute. This wasn't in the video because I found it right before we left. Little tissue cover. Some vintage towels. I have the hiccups. This one is a Royal Company. I really like that pattern on that one. And then Marsha found this one and gave it to me. So this one says Senile. It's a vintage Lands Inn. It's rugby striped. This one should go for 30 to 35 Another vintage beach towel. This one, my friends, the Franco, I think this is like Captain something. I forget. Captain Planet. Anyways, the only one listed is listed at over $100. So that one is a good one. Vintage Vanity Fair. These two were excellent, excellent finds. Um, Elena actually saw them. She didn't grab them. I grabbed them. The vintage, and these are probably antique, to be honest. These should go for well over $100, and I think they were like $7.50 each because they were half off. I got these plates for me. I don't think I showed it in the video. And then here is this really cool horse made out of shells. The bronze cat on the marble base. And then here, these are actually Italy. They were $2 each. I am going to put them together, and I think they should be probably about 40 maybe a little more. The Pyrex Butterfly Bowls, these should sell for about one and a quarter. They were half off, so I paid $37.50. This glass, I can't remember the name of it, but I found it with Google Lens. It was a dollar, so actually 50 cents with the half off. This single glass is on replacements.com for $80, so... That one was a good one. And then I love this little ring holder. This one was only two. So some good stuff here for sure. I love going there on the 50% off. We do have one more store that we went to with 50% off. And we will have that one as the next video. If you're interested in any of this, please email me, thenurseflipper at yahoo.com. And I will see you on the next one.